Jump scare. Gotcha. You know, every once in a while, I build something that I feel like this will be remembered. I think today's one of those days. There is a project I've been working on that has taken me several weeks to plan out. A long, 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 long time. I'm very excited about it. I got a lot of uh, inspiration that's just flowing out of me. This is one of those builds that I think looks cool. This witch hut thing. I think it looks cool. I don't think it'll be remembered. This is one of those things like people always reference in my old world. B-dubs, the castle that you built. It is just so cool. I still remember it to this day and it inspired me. I think now, today, right here, I'm going to build something that we will all point to and remember for a long time. I'm going to need clompers here to help me. Oh, hey, hop on, hop on. Yes, to help me get around a little bit faster. But we're also building kind of landmarks, things that we will use as points in time of like, okay, when we first started the series, I built this house down here. Of course, I use it all the time. Of course, of course. That's kind of a, a standard of, okay, you can see beat up was not texturing. No, I was just using, you know, variations of blocks, but not really texturing. Uh, now, <laughs> we've, we've done some builds in here that have included texturing, and now we're going to go massive. So... I have promised for a long time we are going to go kill the dragon. That won't be today! No, 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 no. I will not kill the dragon today because I can't kill the dragon until I have a place to put the dragon egg. Of course, the most valuable, the rarest, the hardest to obtain block in the game. Not the hardest, but a big place to place the dragon egg. Additionally, we're going to get elytras and stuff like that. So the game is going to really expand for us. We're going to have be able to take advantage of height. This whole area, which feels big, like I need horse to get around and stuff like that. Once we get Elytra, everything's going to feel small. It's going to be easy to get from place to place. High, low, left, right, all that. So, because Dragon Egg is coming, I'm sure it sounds cocky. Oh, beat ups, you're going to, do you think you're going to get kill the dragon? You think you're going to get the Dragon Egg? Yes, I've been playing for 11 years. It's a piece of cake. I will, of course, get the Dragon Egg. And we will build a temple for it to be placed. It'll be a landmark in time of when we beat the dragon. Very big point. Very big spot in our world. I gotta grab fence real quick. So not only will it be a landmark in time of an event that we've had, that we're going to have. Which, by the way, we're going to have a live stream event. I will let you know the date and time of that live stream event soon. In the, it, by the end of this episode, I'm sure. I'm still thinking about the day. Uh, mainly focused on this build. But it will also be a signifier of our building capabilities and style. As you can see here, B-Dubs has been collecting materials. Let's see. Ha. Huh. Hmm. Oh. Oh, real varied. Real textured B-Dubs. A bunch of stone bricks. Just watch. Now stone. Look at all this. Stone bricks and stone. Now we go to cobblestone. Yes? And then all of this. Yes. And then all of this. 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 Yes. Why has it been so long since your last episode? I've been gathering materials and stuff. But we're going to use all of these blocks to build this massive structure. And I think it's going to be really cool. Let me talk to you before we start building about some of my thought process. Take this stone wall, for example, would you please? This is a seven by seven stone wall. And up close, this is very nice texturing, right? We're saying, okay, it's a stone brick wall. So we put bricks in and we're kind of putting them not random, not just a random, just like pop, 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 pop. There's a little bit of thought process, like the way they would be stacked. So to, 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 to you know, like that, like that. So it kind of makes it look like there is some stone bricks built into this, plus you get the te texture and the variation. But when you're building on a massive scale, very, very, very big, all of a sudden you're starting to look at things from very far away. Now I'm using my fly cam. You can see me way down there, cute me. Up close, yes, but look at now from a distance. What are we looking at? What do you see? Really, you just see a gray blob. 
So to fix this, to make it look less like a gray blog, 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 blob, we're going to increase the contrast. It has to be more. Up close, you can see the lights and the darks and all that stuff, but from a distance, no. So we're going to do some things to kind of make it look like uh, you can see the blocks from a distance. So now this, look at this, even up close. Then Now this might be me with a kind of a swayed vision, but I think eventually once we all adjust, we will like seeing something like this. This up close, it still looks okay, but from a distance, now you're starting to see not just a gray blob, but you're starting to see brick textures in there. You're starting to see some lighter bricks and some different colors, some darker bricks and stuff. It adds highlights and shadows. So at a distance, we're going to need to do that for the very, very big stuff, which I mean, the top of this, I will only be able to be seen at a distance. Uh, it's going to be necessary to help kind of create that contrast. We have lots of other blocks in here that are going to help us create that. Lots of, you know, cyan terracotta. We're going to mix in some other colors as well. So you saw I used the light gray terracotta. We'll be able to put that in there because it's so big. You can put these other colors and it still kind of blends like a painting. Waxed, weathered, cut, cop cut copper. My favorite block. Look at this gorgeous beauty of a block. Green, kind of yellowish green, kind of uh, brownish. I mean, this has got this, this light gray terracotta color in there. It's just, it's the best. Who said I'm stalling the dragon fight? Who said it? Somebody in the comments said B-Dub's stalling. I'm not stalling. I would never. This is important. We have to get this build. Where am I going to put the dragon egg if I don't have this building? Here, ready for it, right? Of course, I would never, never stall. No, no, no. Hopefully, there's no other builds I have to do before I fight the drain. No, no, no. We're going to do it. We'll do it on live stream. But now is the time. B-Dubs is ready. I've got all these materials. We're going to take this build in phases, okay? There's going to be certain things I want to talk to you about and teach you as we're going. So... I'll get started and come back with you with another great tip. The perfect way to fall. I have set up. I forgot I don't have Elytra. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's something that you take for granted when you have it all the time in a multiplayer world with your best friends. And then you come to your single player world and you don't have Elytra. Aha! I have built the thing. First, I will look at this gorgeous, glorious boy. Hello, me. And then take... Wait. They will leave me alone. Let's go way back. All right. This is segment one. So we have the tower going up. And as you can see, a lot of that variation that we were talking about from a distance now, you see the lighter and the darker and the different colors in there, and it looks great. Additionally, down here, we have some grime, older structures. And this is, if you built this to look just perfect and pristine, it just doesn't have the realism that I like. I like a little more realism. And in reality, you have a lot of variation and difference. So that's why we're doing all this different texture. But down here, usually you'll see darkness down in the bottom parts. If anything, it's just, you know, shadow. Uh, but this sells some things. Dark on the bottom, we use deep slate tiles, basalt, polished basalt into acacia logs. That's how we kind of gradient into the stone. We also use that up along the top, underneath that ledge right there. That's an area where a lot of water would get trapped and run down and kind of create those dark streaks like that. So, and we're going to do that all throughout. But down at the bottom, it kind of gives this, you know, it, it adds height, having something a little darker. It's not like a full gradient top to bottom, but that little bit at the bottom, that adds some height. Those guys are getting close to me. Stay over there. <gasps> What if they go to the village? You know what? You're getting a little too close for my comfort, boys. Let's take them down. Oh, they're coming. 
They're coming. This is fine. There's no, um... The main guy's not there. What's his face? With the banner on his head? He's not here. So why not? Let's just clean him up. Additionally, I don't know if you could tell in the time lapse, the way I was kind of layering this up as we went is I would, each layer, I would just pick out like some brick shapes every once in a while. So here's two wide, and then there's two wide, and there's a brick. And so it's just two next to each other. Like there's two things next to each other. And then try to just keep in mind what was the last one like, and then kind of uh, you get like a brick texture by doing that. So that's how we got it to look like it looks. Trust me, if you aren't trusting me yet, and you don't think it looks great, just hold on. Because we got to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Five, six of these. And these take a long time. Okay, now let's pop those boys in. That was a lot of building, but B-dubs has not died yet. My eight bed whoopee cushion, not whoopee cushion. <laughs> I should call it. You know what? That's what it is. I hereby name it. When I go up to build high, I put eight beds down. It's called my whoopee cushion. So I can just fall down fast. It does take up a lot of food though. Cause I end up taking a lot of damage. Feel the scale. Shall you? B-dubs has always, and this is something I'm also working on here, and I encourage you to work on as well. Build bigger. <laughs> Clear out your schedule a little bit. But these pillars, which look small from afar, are actually quite big. Seven by seven. They're awfully large, and they go up pretty high. But the more I'm working on this, the more I'm realizing... I think down the road I might even be building bigger. <laughs> you know, when I started this world, I built this mountain over here. I thought that mountain was massive. When I was building it, I was like, oh man, I'm so high in the sky. Yeah, we're going to have to double it uh, to reach up there. And I've already got some plans for that, but that'll just be some terrain stuff. We're going to keep the mountain going up, the cliffside going up even higher, so we'll have a walkway up there. But soon, we'll be able to fly. Let me tell you, this is just kind of a repeat. You know, I did add some windows in this one with a little dark droopies hanging down. And this thing right here, which is just kind of to break up the monotony of having the same thing over and over. I'm going to go inside of my fly head so we can come look at something. This is something that I love. This texture mix right here of my favorite block, the weathered oxidized copper. Uh, weathered cut copper, I'm sorry, with mossy stone bricks. Ooh, ee. I mean, this shape is not my favorite shape in the world. We'll, we'll work on a good shape in a second. But I think those colors work so perfectly together. I'm so happy. Here's the upside, okay? I can't, I gotta do it with the camera because little guy beat ups down there, he can't reach up here unless he does a two hour scaffolding trip that I've been doing. But this is it. This is it up here. So what next? Because you see, this goes off into nothing. All the way down to nothing. I put a lot of thought into what should go on the end here. Initially, I was just making like a circular platform at the end, but it wasn't carrying enough weight. It didn't feel as awesome as I wanted it to. It felt like it was missing something. So the more I worked on it, the more I realized I need a humongo tower. <laughs> <laughs> I need a big, huge tower. And this is where, if you're not impressed yet, I think you'll, I think, <laughs> hey, stop talking so cocky, B-dubs. If you don't love me yet, you're going to love me now. But yes, a tower. A tower right here that will go up. It'll have some windows and some floors in it. And it'll have kind of this same style within it. Additionally, I'm thinking, you can see here on this one, there's going to be some changes and additions and at, well, I would say additions to this along the way. I ran out of time. I could have just kept going and going, but I was like, enough is enough. Let's build. Uh, I want to build some more greenery. We, I did a bunch of moss up this one, and I think it looks really cool. It just blends right in from a distance. But give a reason for that moss to be growing. So maybe some more foliage down below. 
or some trees. We need some trees around this thing to really set it into the landscape or some big boulders that they're sitting on, some other stuff. So there will be things as we go. But this tower, this will make this whole thing feel like it's part of the world already. I mean, look at the depth we have. How it's fogging off in the distance and nice and clear here. Ooh, I can't wait. This tower is probably going to take as long as this whole thing took, but well worth it. So many details, so many different blocks, but I will get started on that after we take a quick commercial break. I've written a lot of Squarespace integrations over the last couple years. This time I decided to let AI write it for me. So I asked it to write a funny Squarespace commercial. And here's what it has come up with. The commercial opens with a person sitting at a desk surrounded by papers and looking frustrated. I don't know how to make a website look good. I'm not a web designer. I'm a web destroyer. Introducing Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for building a beautiful and effective website, even for web destroyers. With Squarespace, you can choose from hundreds of custom templates designed to make your website stand out. Whoa! This is like the Chanel of website templates. My website is about to be the hottest thing since avocado toast. What? And with Squarespace's analytics, you can track where your traffic is coming from and what pages are most popular. Wait, people are actually coming to my website? I thought it was just my mom refreshing the page a hundred times a day. Plus, Squarespace makes it easy to embed videos and connect your social media accounts. This is so easy. I feel like a social media superstar. Move over, Kardashians. There's a new influencer in town. So what are you waiting for? Build a beautiful website with Squarespace and become the next big thing. The commercial ends with a shot of the person happily typing away on their computer, surrounded by their new and improved website, with their mom <laughs> peeking over at their, their shoulder. Well, I'm sold. That was fantastic. If you're sold as well, head on over to squarespace.com slash B00100 to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Hi-ho, Silver! Away! I'm bringing Silver back here into the village so we can get a look at what we have made. Oh, look at the depth. Oh, baby. Uh, this is uh, the fact that you're going to be able to peek over and get little glimpses of it. Oh, you see the tower back there? Oh, yes. This make me so pleased. This make me happy. This is, uh, this is going to be a great feature piece to our city that we're building in a bunch of the thing that will really help is having some houses and stuff down here. It will really sell the scale. There's nothing around. Even if I put trees, and maybe I should have done that today, but put some trees around, it will really show how big this is. But anyway, let's hook up old silver, old clomping, clompers, and take a little closer look. So... The closer you get, the more you start to see all the blocks blending in, but it's at a distance, which is probably how we'll see it most of the time. Uh, everything kind of just blends in very nicely. But uh, I used quite a bit of my favorite color on this, just for little accents around windows and for the roof, obviously, little roofs there. But this, I like this. This is a little weird, but having this little orange streak right there oh man it does so much like it feels like it's just a grayscale building until you see that Ooh, i think that's glorious building the arches and all that when i was kind of trying to figure them out it wasn't too difficult like i know how to do an arch in kind of a circle half circle shape by the way i put like a this is kind of dragon wingy under the arches which i think is cool it wasn't difficult this it was really hard to figure out how to like divide it up 
and cut the sections up and how to scale it. Like it shrinks here and then goes out. It is very hard architecturally to figure out. Well, that's not going to get us there. I could stack all the way. I was thinking, eh, let me walk around up there a little bit so I can show you a little closer look. But I, I've lost my scaffolding in this project. So let's go to the Cheaty camera. Basically throughout, you know, I kind of used that same thing that we used for the columns, whereas mo mainly stone bricks, stone, and cobblestone, but then just mixing things in. But on this, I, had a, I added a lot more because there's a lot more detail and stuff. There's a lot more nooks and crannies where dirt and stuff could collect. So I was able to do a lot more of that detailing. Over here, I, I added a little jut out thing. I think it balances it. Like if we look at it from here, it looks nice. Like you kind of have this coming over, then that coming out and down. I think it's nice. But the coolest thing, check this out. My daughter, Ari, was very proud of this. So these columns, they looked a little too cartoony with just the, you can see it here, just that, uh, the glazed terracotta texture. But putting the lichen over it kind of messes it up a little bit. It looks like these cool marble columns. But this... This is the grand place. This is where we will have our view from back here. And we will walk up and right here, my victory against the dragon will be on display with the dragon egg. But B-dubs, when will be the day that you kill the dragon? It will be this Saturday. This Saturday coming up. I don't know the exact number of day. This Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Make sure you hit the bell. Subscribe and hit the bell and it'll let you know. It'll give you a little alert when it's time. My voice is going hoarse, isn't it? Speaking of hoarse, we can't forget about old Hi Ho Silver here. Hey Silver, what do you think of this new building that I've put in our world? Do you like it? Are you happy about it? Oh yeah, yes, very. Did you see the... He, he was thrilled with it. Okay. Hey, this is a pretty good build. We'll be able to enjoy this now a lot uh, throughout the rest of the season. Next, I'll build this terrain. But that'll maybe be off crammy, okay? Love you guys to death. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.